we're gonna do a first gear takeoff. You ready? With the gas. something yeah. so we'll keep driving it we'll start heading back towards the workshop and we'll keep gassing it whenever we got the chance I want to see a catastrophic engine failure so when we pull it apart we can see if the head gasket blew or if it was a melted piston or something like that only one way to find out so we still don't know what the air fuels are or anything like that and I've just I've run all that 91 fuel out of it put 98 in it now so the 98 so there we go, third gear. too because we don't have the pressure pressure gauge on the bottle we can't tell when the pressure is actually dropping so if the bottle pressure is dropping from us using it the hits each time they're gonna feel weaker and weaker and weaker so I need to get a gauge on there so we can keep it up around that so we can keep it up around um, that 950 mark Kill a Peter. 
Like I thought that little strap that we did just before was gonna melt something, but maybe when we're coming down the street of the workshop, we'll put it in second gear at like 60 k's an hour and hold the foot on the accelerator brake so it can't actually go any faster. So the nitrous will be feeding in, trying to do it. See if we can get a, a rod explosion or something. <laughs> You know what, and I've probably pushed it that many times since Saturday, the bottle probably doesn't have that much in it. I'll oh, see, so, so how much have you pushed it since? Well, easily 20 times with you in the car now, and then last night we went around for a bit. So another thing too, on the nitrous instructions it said, make sure engine RPM is above 3000. So maybe we'll take off at first and just be idling, and then we'll plan it and see what happens. I tell you what, before I put it on this car, I was actually terrified and put it on the blue car, thinking that it would just blow things to pieces, but oh. I don't think it's anywhere near aggressive as what everyone makes it out to be. If, if this motor can hold it, then you build motor with the forge rods so that can hold it, definitely. I think the main problem is the heat that it creates inside the motor, it starts melting the top of the pistons. Right now we're in second gear, doing like a thousand RPM and we'll gas it. After all that, it's out of gas again. Oh, smoke, smoke. Oh. <laughs> There's black smoke coming out of here, shooting. Let's have two bottles of gas. And it's still running. It's still running. <laughs> I think I want to fill the bottle up again and put like 150 shot in there. <laughs> if this is 75 shot, 150 is double this. This is pretty quick. Well, it's not dead yet, so I think I've got to put more gas on it. <laughs> 